Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, thanks for clicking on over. How's everybody's day going? I hope you guys are having a great day today. So today, I decided to do a makeup look for you guys inspired by the new Jeffree Star lipstick, No Tea No Shade, which is, come on, let's be real, flawless. So Thank you guys for clicking on over to this video. If you want to see how I got this look and what I did, then keep on watching. All right, so to start off this look today, first I am going to be using my Bobbi Brown. It's technically eye corrector, but I just use it as a top lid concealer for my eyeshadow, and I have it in the color Bisque, and it just comes in a little compact like this. As you can see, I have a really hit pan, but still product in there. <laughs> All right, next thing we are gonna start on the eyeshadow. I like to do my eyeshadow first before I do anything on my face, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Also, sorry about this like weird lighting going on, but I decided to film in my kitchen today because it's a lot easier for me to like spread my makeup out on the table and actually like focus on what I'm doing. So, all right, so I am gonna be going in with my Eggnog Latte eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be using my L34 Blend Beauty Brush. And I'm going to be going in with this color, Skinny Latte. I'm just going to be going in on my crease and using that as a transition color. Now that we have that down, I think today I'm kind of going to go for a halo-y kind of look. So, I am going to be going in to my PB&J palette and using Jammin'. And I am going to focus that on the outer corner and inner corner of my eye. Defeated for every tyrant to tee up all the vulnerable. I am also using um, new IT Cosmetics brushes and I'm using the C6155 brush. In this life, there's no obstacle. Now that that is on, I am going to be going back into my eggnog palette and I'm going to be using the color eggnog latte. It's kind of a gold shimmery color and I'm going to go ahead and put that right in the middle of my lid. And for that, I am going to be using another IT Cosmetics brush and I'm going to be using the C6155 Absolute Shadow Brush. <laughs> And then just to help get even more of a shimmer, I'm going to be just going in with a finger and um, putting that, pressing that onto my lid for a more glittery effect. My feet can't touch the ground, touch the ground and it feels nice. Now to just kind of blend everything out on the top, I'm going to go into my gingerbread cookie latte palette and I'm going to be using ginger cream. And I'm just again going to be using my C1, my C6155 brush. Now I'm going to be going in with an Urban Decay shade and this is in Midnight Cowboy and it's a very very sparkly shimmery shade and I'm just going to be putting that in the inner corner of my eye. <laughs> Time to move on to the face. So I'm just going right in with concealer right away. And I am a Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and put a little bit on my chin, down the bridge of my nose, up my forehead, and under the eyes. And then a little bit right here, kind of where I crease when I smile. So I'm gonna put a little bit there too. And we're done, this is the look guys. Just kidding, I look like I should be in the Lion King. Now I'm just gonna take my IT Cosmetics Smoothing Concealer Brush and I'm just gonna blend everything out. And I 
absolutely love this concealer. I know everyone is really into the Tarte Shape Tape right now, but with how dark my under eyes get, I absolutely love how full coverage this concealer is. It has a really, really nice formula too. I absolutely love it. I completely recommend it. So now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna go to town. <music> You don't make faces while you're going into your under eyes, you're doing it wrong. I am going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to dip into my NARS translucent setting powder and I am just going to pack that onto my lower eyes. So I just kind of like dip it into the pan, get a little bit of my beauty blender and I just press that into my lower eyelid. And I press that in and I do a good couple layers so that this does not move at all throughout the day. While that is cooking on my face, I am going to go in with my newest, most favorite brush in the world. It is the Sephora Flawless Powder Brush. It is huge, you guys. Like, it's bigger than my head. And look how fluffy the top is. I am in love with it. I'm gonna go in with more of my NARS powder. I'm just gonna go to down. But while I'm putting on all this powder, I'm not gonna touch any of this yet because I want that to sit for as long as possible so my eyes do not crease. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face while I'm waiting for my eyes to continue cooking. And I am going to go in with the bronzer gingerbread in my gingerbread palette. I absolutely love this color. It's very nice for my skin. It's a really nice brown and it has a little bit of sparkle in it. And I'm gonna go in with this IT Cosmetics brush and it's meant for foundation, but I really like how it is for forming to my cheekbone for um, bronzer, so I use it anyway, and it works really well. So Hello. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that under my cheekbone, and then I also bring it along my temple and along the top of my forehead because I got a big forehead and I want to make that look smaller. So I put bronzer around the top of my forehead. I'm gonna go along with bronzer around my jawbone just to soften all that up. It's me. And then I'm just gonna pinch this brush together a little bit and I'm gonna go down the sides of my nose. Like I've been cooking long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just flick the rest of this powder off with my 50 uh, powder Sephora brush. Now I don't look like a coke addict. So now it is time to go in with blush. I am going to go ahead and go in with my Cabana Boy blush. So I'm going to be going in with my Luxie 52 4T stippling brush. And I really like using the stippling brush for blush. So I like a stippling brush because it picks it up very lightly. So I'm just going to go ahead and swirl a little bit of that in there. And I'm just brushing that on the apples of my cheeks and bringing a little bit upward. <laughs> Now I'm going on to my favorite part and that is highlighting. So I am going to be going in with my, it's uh, by a brand name Polished, but it's just a little um, highlighter brush and I'm going in with King Tut by Jeffree Star. So I'm just gonna swirl that around. A lot. And I'm just going in on my cheekbones. If you don't own a Jeffree Star skin frost. What are you doing with your life? And I'm gonna go down my nose and a little bit on the cupid's butt. And I'm just gonna stick my face in it. Just kidding. I could if I would, or I would if I could. All right, so the face is done. Now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. For the top lid, I am going to be going in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. I absolutely love this eyeliner. It's fantastic. I love the tip of the eyeliner brush. It's fantastic. And this stays on all day. Come a long way from 
all done I'm going to do my bottom eyeliner and I am going in with my Bobbi Brown espresso ink gel eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown eyeliner brush and this is the a 33 eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna do that all on the lower lash line <laughs> And I'm gonna go in with mascara now. And I am going to be using my Mad Lash Mascara from The Balm. I absolutely love this mascara. It fans out your lashes so nicely and it lengthens very well. They say the time's supposed to heal you. I went ahead and did my eyelashes off camera because watching someone put mascara on is like watching paint dry on a wall. So these are what my eyes look like. I absolutely love this mascara. I have zero falsies on. And now the whole point of this inspired look, the lips. I am so excited about this No Tea No Shade shade. Um, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. My roommate got it and that was the reason that I wanted to buy it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, but first I'm gonna go ahead and put some chapstick on because these lips are a little nasty. So I'm going in with the Rimmel London lip treatment and I'm just gonna put that all over my lips first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on No Tea No Shade. All right, you guys, and this is the final look. I absolutely love this lip. A little bit of a bad application on my part, but I absolutely am in love with it. Such a gorgeous shade for all kinds of skin tones. Um, so this is the final look, you guys. I am really, really excited about it. I think it goes really, really well with this liquid lip. If you guys like this look and if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. And if you haven't and you'd like to, hit the subscribe button down below. Become a part of my channel. I would be really excited about that. And again, I had a lot of fun making this makeup look. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.